Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is part two of the MLB Trade Candidates. Uh, Richard, we're here with Richard again. Richard, what's going on, man? Not too much. Uh, we just wrapped up a couple of interesting trade candidates, ending with Barry Zito. Uh, so let's see what we have next on the list. Next, we have Brett Myers. This guy has been the ace of the Astros, I think, for the past two years. This guy really came out of his shell last year. Everybody thinking that this guy could be a potential NL Cy Young candidate. I don't really see that so far. Um, maybe in a few years. Richard, what team will actually pick up Brett Myers? Well, Brett Myers is, like you said, really good. Last year posted a 3.14 ERA. It was 14-8 with 180 Ks with the Astros. So to have a record that's above 500 with a losing team is really good. You see Felix Hernandez was 13-12. and 12. But I have a... a a list of teams here that could be interested in Myers. Uh, his old team, the Philadelphia Phillies, the New York Yankees, the Red Sox, the White Sox, the A's, the Dodgers, the Braves, the Cardinals, the Indians, and I'll get back to that in a little bit, uh, the Orioles, the Rangers, and the Rockies, and only the Indians if they are in the hunt for a playoff spot. Yeah. I have to say that the Atlanta Braves could take on the... Uh, I think the, he would actually fit really well with the Braves because Jair Jurgens, I don't know how much longer this team will hold on to Jair. He, he's not a, a trade. He can't be a hit free agency, I think, for another like three years. So you can only hit free agency only if you've been in the league for six years. So I actually think that if the in, if the Braves can like rebounce back right now, because we're right, right now in fourth place, uh, I think it was two games back or a game back from the Nationals for third, I actually think that the Braves can actually pull back and pull, possibly put either Jair Jurgens in the bullpen and use him as a relief pitcher if the Braves make the playoffs and they get Brett Myers. But I actually really feel that Brett Myers has a good feeling in Atlanta. Richard, is there anything else you want to put in there? Uh, yeah, the Braves are really interesting, but I can see the White Sox. Um, last year, the White Sox tried to go after um, Brett Myers. Uh, they explored an Edwin Jackson deal. Um, you know, the White Sox need some rotation help, of course. Um, I could also see the Red Sox, even. They have two struggling pitchers in Lackey and Daisuke. Uh, I don't know what the Red Sox would give up. And also, obviously, the Yankees, they're a favorite for every starting pitcher. But those are my three top candidates, the White Sox, the Red Sox, and the Yankees. And the Braves are always fourth. Uh, I could... They definitely see the Braves going after him. Yeah. So, Brett Myers, who or where will that guy go? We, all, we don't know. Next, Daisuke Matsuzaka. You, we've already covered this. This guy is just terrible this year. I don't know how long the Red Sox can hold on to this guy after all these terrible starts he had this season. Richard, I have this guy possibly hating a team that needs help this season, possibly another candidate. Richard, who will take this guy? Oh, wow. That's kind of like Barry Zito, except uh, he makes less money. I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't know. At this point, I just I can't think of a team that could even that could want him. Um, you know, he has, he's had one good, pretty good start this year. Uh, he went five innings, giving up three runs, with three walks and two Ks. That was against the Indians. Um, where he received the loss. That was a pretty good start. But then he got shelled by the Tampa Bay Rays, um, going two innings with seven runs given up with two homers, uh, two Ks, and two walks again. He received the loss. So then, again, uh, I I don't know. Uh, he has, he's had one really good season in Oway where he went 18-3, but ever since then, he just hasn't been any good, really. He's a lot better than people give him credit for. I have to give him that. But he's definitely, it's almost like MLB and him don't speak the same language, which you know, technically they don't. But um, I I, uh, I don't know. I wish I had a team that could be interested in him, but I have a feeling that if the Red Sox get rid of this guy, it's going to be cutting him. Yeah. I have to agree. I don't know what team will actually pick this guy up with this performance so far this year. It will be shocking if another if actually if actually the Red Sox trade this guy. So I don't really know much or what team will actually pick up this dude's contract or pick up him on how well he's pitching this year. 
it's a lot of questions coming out of Daisuke. So, I don't know exactly, we both don't know exactly who actually picked this guy up. Next, we have Fausto Carmona. This guy is really, really a big candidate to be traded. I mean, Richard's been talking about this guy most likely every video. So, Richard, you say the Yankees. I say maybe a different team. The Yankees are most likely a big favorite. Tell us about Fausto Carmona. Why do you think this guy will go to the Yankees? Well, because, I mean, he's a... Uh... He's not really that expensive, um, and the Yankees need pitching. Uh, I think that he'd fit in well there because, you know, his former teammate of three and a half years, CeCe Sabathia, is there, and it might entice CeCe to not opt out of his $92 million, uh, it was four year, $92 million options. Um, you know, Carmona's scheduled to make $6.1 million this year, and then 7 9 and $12 million respectively. Um, and the options may increase depending upon where he finishes in the Cy Young race. But, um, yeah, I think that Carmona is, could, could really go to the Yankees. But there's also a team that I call uh, – there's also a few more teams that I could see gunning for him. Uh, just let me pull up my list here. Um, uh, with the Texas Rangers, uh, they're kind of a dark horse. Um, you know, they if they – they want to remain contenders in the AL West. Their their rotation is good so far. It's it's pretty underrated because I mean looking at it, you wouldn't think that they'd be any good. Um, you know, with C.J. Wilson, uh, Matt Harrison, and Alexia Gondo, who you know is just pitching lights out. He's two and zero with a zero ERA. Um, so, I mean, he could go there. Um, you know, the Rangers have a lot of starting pitching depth with David Bush and Derek Holland. Uh, but I think that Carmona could really put the Rangers over the top and hopes for another return to the World Series. And also, the Baltimore Orioles, like again, like you guys have heard in almost every video we do, I, I'm not buying into the Orioles hype at all. But say if they do, and they prove me wrong, he could really fit in well with the Orioles. Um, he could complement young uh, pitchers like Zach Britton and Brian Mattis and help Jeremy Guthrie out. That'd be a pretty good rotation. Um, it could be their first playoff berth since 97, but I think the Yankees and the Rangers have, are, have really good possibilities at acquiring him. Also the Braves, too, uh, like you mentioned, um, Justin about Brett Myers. But I can really see the Yankees pursuing this guy. Yeah, I have to agree with you. The Yankees my are... I, have a, I really like the Yankees and the Angels, as you guys have been hearing about it. Uh, with uh, Tim saying, I like all 32 teams. It's two teams, the Angels and, An An Angels and Yankees. I really, really like to see Fausto pitch for my Yankees. I mean, this team is just left out with Phil Hughes. So he's been placed on the 15-day deal. You got Sabathia, Burnett, Freddy Garcia, Ivan Nova, and Bartolo Colon. I actually feel Bartolo Colon being in the bullpen and helping out that bullpen because the Yankees have been in news about finding a bullpen pitcher. So, if the Yankees could find somebody maybe at the deadline for a trade deal, I mean, the Yankees last season got Austin Kearns, Kerry Wood for, from Cleveland, and they got, uh, the Yankees lost one of their prospects, Zach McAllister. Um, I really feel that the Yankees could actually pursue Fossil Carmona. Um, my dark horse team for picking up Fossil Carmona could possibly be the Braves because there are so many questions about Jair Jurgens if this guy's going to going to be traded. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know for sure. But I really think that the Dark Horse is going to be that team. Um, but I really feel that Carmona is going to feel right at home with the Yankees being a contender. Doing really well so far. So uh, let's, not, let's just give it to the Yankees. I think the Yankees are going to have the favorite for Carmona. Yeah, definitely. And when you touched on the Yankees pursuing a bullpen guy, uh, there's all, I, I think a good left-handed reliever that they could go after is John Grabo from the Chicago Cubs. He's going to be a free agent after this year. He's 33 years old, and he could really help with the Yankees' bullpen. Yeah. So, guys, this is part two. We are sorry. We have, uh, I think, two more videos coming up after this. We're going to try to hurry up. We have Ivan Rodriguez. We got Jason Marquis, and we got Jeff Francis coming up in our next video. And that's just a little taste of right there on our next video. We'll try to get four or five in so that we can have the last three for the last video. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Check out the next, check out part three. We'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy some baseball and have a great